Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 29th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to go ahead and provide for you a larger analysis of some of the trends that are ongoing for the United States, namely a flip in the jet stream pattern where the West has tended to see and is expected to tend to see more trough patterns emerge, while the East is expected to see more ridge patterns begin to emerge, with trough patterns also starting to run in through the central US in some of the forecasts. Now this will tend to increase cool and stormier conditions for the Western and central US, while increasing the potential for some very hot conditions for the US East Coast. But before I, I get into that, I'd just like to call your attention to the overall sea surface temperature anomaly pattern for the Pacific Ocean, the Northern Pacific Ocean. And it's worth noting that we've had a bite of a bit cooler than normal waters running in off the U.S. West Coast and intro, into the Central Pacific in uh, a, a middle latitude range. And it's also worth noting that sea surface temperatures near Alaska and near the northern central Pacific are much warmer than normal. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip this over to a pressure measure. And so what we see now is a, is a very strong high pressure system over these warmer than normal sea surfaces. And so this ridge, ha which has, had tended to remain mostly off the U.S. West Coast for this summer, enhancing strong ridge patterns in the jet stream and severe heat and severe wa wildfire weather patterns or wildfire enhancing weather patterns has drifted to the West. And this has resulted in a change in the jet stream in that the ridge pattern, and let me go ahead and, and shift to the atmospheric wind patterns, the, the ridge pattern has tended to run more and more up into Alaska with a facing trough into the western and central U.S. Switching in through the upper level wind map, we can see this in the form of the high speed upper level wind, winds ridging up through Alaska and dipping down through the western and central U.S. but with a, with a second facing ridge over the U.S. east with an associated high pressure system over very warm sea, or much warmer than normal sea surfaces off the U.S. Northeast coast as well. So, so a change in the weather, which is, is already having some impacts. I'm going to go ahead and just show you a forecast map for September 5th showing extraordinarily hot temperatures predicted for the U.S. East coast in the range of the 100s in, in upper 90s through West Virginia, Virginia, stretching up in through New Jersey and Pennsylvania with predicted 101 degree readings in Massachusetts. This is consistent with, with much warmer than normal temperatures which have already been observed in the Northeast as well. And it looks like this pattern is expected to persist for at least the next week with the potential for for temperature, temperatures to rise above the century mark across the U.S. east and northeast. It's worth noting that, that higher than normal atmospheric moisture levels in this region and high humidity, hum, humidity will tend to make these temperatures feel very miserable and produce some, some relatively risky, rather risky conditions for the U.S. mid-Atlantic and northeast if these predicted temperatures do emerge now this is a GFS model run and it's it's looking at about six six or seven days a uh, one week from now so so this can be taken with a bit of a grain of salt but if these conditions do emerge uh, it looks like some potential for for new heat records to be broken for for late August and early September for the US East now looking at temperature anomaly maps just like to show you what these departures would represent if they do emerge. 
and notably, and these are in Fahrenheit ranges, so notably 19 degrees Fahrenheit, nearly 20 degrees Fahrenheit above average for the middle Atlantic. But look at the Northeast where, where the predicted temperatures are expected to range as high as 30 degrees Fahrenheit above average for typical times for, for this, this time of year. Typically the Northeast at this time of year tends to be cooling down, but we could really see the heat hit hard over the coming days if this this weather pattern this predicted weather pattern does deepen or actually it's a prevailing weather pattern that is now emerging but if it, it, it does deepen as predicted now I'd just like to note that the fire situation across the US West has been tamped down by the this changing conditions with cooler weather and a bit higher moisture over the US West as well as the, the higher potential for rainfall, particularly in the British Columbia region. Looking at the US West, it's notable that the, the very intense smoke plumes that we have seen over recent days have, have died down quite a bit. And looking at the National Interagency Fire Center, the statement for today is that favorable weather conditions continue to help firefighters reach their containment goals throughout the West with no new large fires reported and one large fire contained in Minnesota. It's worth noting that there are still 104 active fires across the U.S., including Alaska, so still very active with 2,361,140 acres still involved and the present acreage coverage at 6,523,046 acres is presently fourth worst on record for the past 10 years, which includes some of the worst fire seasons on record since accurate acreage measure began in the mid to late 1970s. So, Fire season 2018 still shaping up to be a very intense fire season, a record fire season for the U.S. West, and, and a strong fire season overall for the U.S., but it's worth noting that, that the cooler conditions for the U.S. West and the higher moisture levels for the U.S. West are right now aiding firefighters in containing wildfires in this region. So just to sum up, a shift in the ridge pattern more toward Alaska and the Central Pacific has brought a trough into the U.S. West and into the Central U.S. with cooler conditions helping firefighters in the West, but the facing related ridge in the East and the wavy jet stream pattern has tended to increase the potential for record heat in the U.S. East. Overall, it's worth noting just as a context that human-caused climate change has been indicated by a number of studies to increase the waviness of the jet stream, which, is inc which increases the potential for extreme weather in the middle latitudes, in particularly in middle latitude summer as it relates to heat waves and flood and heavy rainfall events. It's worth noting that the predicted very intense heat across the US Northeast fits into this overall pattern and in addition, just rising atmospheric temperatures also provide more fuel for heat waves, which is a signature fing fingerprint of human-caused climate change. So that, that's just worth keeping in mind as the potential for a, a strong mid-Atlantic and northeast heat wave is rising over the coming days. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be chatting with you soon.